Hello everyone! Hello! Cesare here with more Skies of Arcadia Legends! Just as a uh, another touch point, this is my first time playing this game, so I am very excited. Also, a little worried I'm gonna suck at it. But then again, I suck at every game I play, so this will be no different. We got Soma QZ in chat, we got Vector Seder, and we have Sagan in chat. Sagan, hello! Long time no see! You haven't seen this game in ages? Yes, I also have not seen this game in ages. And uh, Faye Eighteenos purchased it with channel points for me to play, so that's where we are right now. Ah yes, the bar. The first place to go. Cheers! Uh, Loqua sure does hit the spot. Captain Dine really does know how to pick his Loqua berries. This stuff is good. <laughs> it's been a while since we've taken over an Armada flagship. We just have to take a little break now and then. The bottle's empty. Mm -hmm. Should you be sitting here drinking Loqua with the rest of us when you've got a beautiful, hard-working wife waiting for you at home? Hey, there's nothing wrong with relaxing with friends after our day's work. My oh my, this place sure is full. There's three people in it. Then uh, this is our tavern. They serve all kinds of drinks here. Nectars, juices, loqua. <gasps> um, excuse me, but what exactly is loqua? What? Tina, you really don't know what loqua is? Well, um, I don't know exactly. But it appears to be a really good tasting drink of some kind. Everyone seems to be drinking it so fervently. It must be delicious. You want to share a bottle of Marloqua with us? It's made from the loquat berries and moonstones. It's just a juice, but it tastes great. No, 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 no. We don't have time to sit around right now. We have to go and talk to the captain. Why? Are we not supposed to be here? Well, the captain is always getting on our case for being late and stuff. I really don't want to be get into any more of the trouble today. <laughs> yeah, my dad can get pretty worked up when he's mad. We wouldn't want him to have a heart attack now, would we? <laughs> You're so mean to your dad! You know that, Vice? Come on, we should probably get going. Your dad's waiting for us. You remember kicking your butt back in the day? I... Do not share that memory, but... I'm sure it will kick my butt. <laughs> uh, it's been a long time since I've seen the Bluins get their butts beaten that badly. Good job, Vice. While I'm in such a good mood, I think I'll go up to the training center above gra uh, ground and have myself a good workout. You're the first visitor we've had in a long time. Make yourself at home, miss. And don't be afraid to ask for anything you need. We blue logs are friends to any travelers of the skies. Well, if you're an armed traveler with gold, it's a different story. <laughs> Plundering treasure is fine, but just once I'd like to find a well-built, handsome young man as treasure instead of the usual. Of course, if I did that, I'd be just like a black pirate instead of a blue rogue. Oh well, I suppose that means it's off limits. We took this armor from a balloon vessel a long time ago. Looks like someone had a little fun drawing on it. Looks much better now. <laughs> oh yeah, this game is like interesting flavor text when you click on things. Not everything, of course, but... Hang on a sec, guys. You got logged out for some reason? Faye, hello! It's Friday, guys! You guys excited for the weekend? My job is to guide the albatross into the underground entrance so that it can dock in the harbor safely. We use the flag signals to communicate to each other over vast difference, vast differences. Right now, I'm coordinating the loading of supplies under the albatross. There's treasure up there, I think. Not 100% certain. You gonna play yourself some Tales of Arise? 
I'm gonna be picking up my copy of it tomorrow, but I'm probably not gonna play it right away. Hooray, we're home! You know, there really isn't anything else quite like the feeling you get when you reach your home port. I pre-ordered Tales of Arise a long time ago, guys. Like... <laughs> Come right in. This is the weapon and armor shop. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to charge you even if you are a fellow air pirate. I have to go to a lot of trouble to get my stock. Most weapons are forged out of moonstones. Well, it's not the only thing used, but it's one of the main materials. And since weapons are made of moonstones, they can be affected by other moonstones if used properly. To learn all the details, ask the training center that's located above ground. Ooh, that would give me plus 13, eh? Is there any reason to use this over that? I mean, if you want more magic defense, I guess, but... You're excited for the week because you don't have to work? Man, me either, dude. I don't have to work either. I'm excited about that. How oh, hello, Vice. Do come in. See if you have anything you want to buy. Unlike spells that require MP, if you have a healing crystal, you can recover your HP anytime in any place. Some of the tougher air pirates refuse to use them to save themselves. But I say it never hurts to play it safe. Alright, so we got 20 sac- oh, we have three sacred crystals. Alright, we're gonna get two of these. Alright. Is there any reason I shouldn't buy weapons now? Isn't there another form of combat in this game where, like, uh, ship battles or something? Most sailors feel at home sleeping in hammocks. That's probably because they spend most of their time out sailing. I prefer a nice warm bed. Oh, I haven't been home in such a long time. Please, just let me sleep. I guess the guys get pretty thirsty at night. Why else would they bring a whole barrel of loco into their sleeping quarters? Weapons are set aside here in case of an emergency. We've all been trained to uh, spring into action at a moment's notice. It's a barrel full of freshly made relic loqua. I think it's made for, with red moonstones. It's a little too spicy for my taste, to be honest. These boxes are filled with loqua berries, and moonstones used in making loqua. Heh, <laughs> this stuff here sure is popular around here. We need to talk about loqua berries a lot. Oh, there we go. This is where we need to be. Vice and Ike are reporting for duty, and we brought Finna like you requested. You're a little late. I'll let it slide this time. Come on over. Young lady, I am dying, the captain of the Blue Rogues. There are a few questions that I want to ask you. Will you answer them for me? Of, of course. I've been sailing for a very long time, but I've never come across anyone wearing clothes like yours. What country are you from, and why are you traveling alone out there? Ah, shit. It's a valid question. Why the heck would I defend her? She doesn't need defending yet. Faye! But we gotta defy Dad at all times. What do you guys think? Defend fi Finna or stick quietly and listen? How should we handle this?
What do you guys think? Come on, viewers, help me out here. I'm going to go with sit quietly and listen. That's what I think. What does that sound? Does that mean I made the right choice? Okay. Can't dine. You worry too much. Finish the normal girl. Silence, Ica. I'm the captain here. It is my duty to protect the safety of my family and my crew. If this girl is a danger of any sort to you or any of my men, I cannot let her live. Well, huh? But, but, Finna, it is your turn to speak. Ah, well, thank you, Summer. I, I cannot say. Why is that? Is it because we are air pirates? Don't you trust us? Uh -uh. No, that has nothing to do with it. I thank you with all my heart for saving my life. But I cannot tell any living soul about the purpose of my quest, even if it means sacrificing my own life. I have no intention of endangering any of your lives. If you believe anything that I say, please believe this. Alright then. <laughs> Looks like I lost this one. I understand your dilemma and I can see in your eyes that you are true to your word. Although we are pirates, we also have a strong sense of honor. You do not need to divulge the details of your quest. Understand that you now have my trust, but be careful that you do not lose it. Thank you so much. Captain Dine, thank you kindly. I will not disappoint you. Vice, Ica, bring the girl. Fina, topside, and give her a tour of the village. Yay! Now that's more like it. Way to go, Dad. You're the best. It's not Dad. It's Captain. I swear. How many times do I have to remind you? You're excused. Don't be late for dinner. I have a question. What am I allowed to call him, Dad? Uh huh. He thought he could hide his secrets back here, but he couldn't. And now, all his treasure are belong to me. I was right, there was treasure down here. 150 gold! It's almost like the game's asking me to buy new stuff. I'm gonna go buy Vice's new weapon. It's a picture of the Albatross. My dad has had this boat for as long as I can remember. She's a good boat. I never could quite figure out what this was a picture of. Ica thinks it's a giant balloon, but I think it's a big rock. Looks like a head. In fact, it looks like the head of Mega Man. Oh, the music's really good. I like it. It's the flag of the Dine family. It always, I always, I've always liked this design. It just says Blue Rogues to me. It's a classic. It's full of my old man's books and other things that he's picked up on our raids. I wonder how old some of this stuff actually is. Now listen up, Vice. There are times when something other than brute strength or sharpness of mind is demanded of a man. Sometimes you have to have a firm grasp of the entire situation at hand. That's when you need to learn how to be a swashbuckler. People will notice how you behave in various situations, and you'll begin to earn a reputation based on those actions. That's why you need to try and be uh, as adventurous as po or adventuresome as possible without forgetting your leadership responsibilities, okay? Is he trying to tell me that my actions and stuff change the course of the game? The Crest of the Dime Family. This is my dad's office. So if I punch random people in the face, they, they won't be happy? Can I punch random? Is that referring to the uh, the way you answer people and such? Because does that actually have a bearing on the story? That guy looks like he just shit his pants. 
Weapon parts, moonstones, especially where Zack puts all of his odds and ends. I wonder if he's ever going to use any of this stuff. It's filled with various healing crystals and raw materials for medicines and stuff. Maybe this is Aaron's emergency supply. Wow, fruit! Aaron probably grabbed this from one of our raids. Fruit is hard to come by. Wow, fruit other than loquat berries, that is. Alright, we're gonna buy a new sword. Let's get ourselves the most expensive thing here first. Well, that would be nice to have, too. But it increases your will, but lowers your her quickness and his hit rating. Favorite sword among air pirates in the mid-ocean area. It is light and very easy to wield. What is... Green? What does this mean? Green? Sure. I don't know what that means. Save up for armor and such later. Oops. So once we get a chance to go out and fight things, we'll do that, save up for the other items that we need at the start here, and then we'll move on. So Summer, how long would you say this game is? And have you completed this game? I know Segan said that he uh, this game kicked his butt when he was younger, so I'm not sure if he finished it. Did you finish it, Segan? talk to this dude. Captain Dine said the girl, I mean Finna, is permitted to wander freely through the island. So I unlocked the door. Also, there are two treasure chests in this underground port containing emergency supplies somewhere. You might want to look for them. There are? Okay. Where we store most of the loot from our raids. Later, we'll separate the stuff that we want to keep from what we want to sell. Can I just have all the money? It's packed with weapons that we took from the Voloan guards. I don't really see anything particularly high quality. It's full of cannonballs. Remember when I was a kid, my dad made me polish cannonballs all the time. I really hated doing that. Is there a treasure chest in here that I didn't see? The guys are gone now. Hmm. I've only seen the one treasure chest. So either it's really well hidden, these supplies are really well hidden, or... Also looks like there's a, a path over here that I can't get to. Maybe it's referring to this door here. The other side of this door is covered in rock. That way you can't tell there's actually a door here from the outside. Remember there's an enemy ship nearby. We open up this door and use the big cannon here to knock them out of the sky. Okay, that's pretty smart. We store various ship parts that we steal from enemy ships. These boxes have been sitting here for as long as I can remember. I don't even think my dad knows what's piled up in here anymore, but I'm not supposed to, But I suppose it's better to have more parts than not. I don't actually see. On sailboats, ropes are used for just about everything. Having good, strong ropes can be the difference between life and death. Soma, is that cute? Is that cute? Is that true? 
How many ropes do you have? You have a pirated copy on Dreamcast? Man, my brothers and that had a Dreamcast growing up and they loved the damn thing. Maybe they meant that the uh, treasures were in the part coming up, not in this part. It's like, I seriously only seen that one treasure chest. You have six ropes around the house? Do you, use, do you do a lot of rope play? I do a mild amount of rope play. I tie myself up and then whip myself. It's very awkward. Vice, go on ahead. I have to stop by my house for a second. Why? What's wrong? <clears throat> I just want to freshen up. Don't worry, I'll catch up with you guys in a few minutes. See you at my house. Or see you at your house. You believe the term is Shibari? Who's this lady? Oh, hey there, Vice. I heard you guys rescued a girl from the Valorans. Yep, let me introduce you to her. Hello, it's very nice to meet you. My name is Finna. I, I'm very grateful for the hospitality that everyone has been showing me. Well, well, aren't you just the sweetest little thing? Well, Finna, it's our pleasure. Just relax and make yourself at home, okay? <laughs> nice catch, Vice. I guess your work has its perks, huh? It's every empire's dream to be a swashbuckler, but you have to do more than sail to become one. You have to live as one, in both your actions and your words. Only two swashbucklers can become great leaders. Everyone needs a place to go home to, especially sailors. It's always good to have a place to rest their tired wings, you know? When you know that, you have someone to go home and to, uh, a warm bed waiting for you. It gives a person a little extra strength, I suppose. A bandana, a striped shirt. It's filled with old, worn-out clothes. Some people just get attached to their stuff, I guess. So, I was saying to the other uh, viewers uh, yesterday that uh, I really like this game and how it has just random flavor text when you click on things. And it's a lot more in-depth than other games. It's just a fireplace. I remember many times as a kid warming myself to a fire here. After being outside all day during the cold season. It's filled with all sorts of tableware. There's even some smaller utensils. They're probably for the little kids. A water jar used for cooking. We all get our water from the well, so we use... Or we need uh, containers to store the water before we use it. Oops. It's full of fresh water. I wonder who left it here. Please do not step on the garden. Vegetables are an important source of nutrients for sailors. Everyone takes great care to make sure that they grow up, uh, they grow them properly. Isn't this the laundry tub? We just left it sitting out here like this. It's always a steady breeze that blows through this region, so our laundry dries really quickly. What the fuck is- who is this? Oh, Vice, you're back! Welcome home! We're all playing hide-and-seek with Pal! You should play with us, too! No, I'm not doing that. Hey, Vice, we're playing hide-and-seek! You wanna play with us? If you can find all three of us and Pal, I'll tell you a secret! Hide-and-seek, huh? Alright, I'll play. Yay! Alright, you're it, then. When we say we're ready, you have to come and look for the three of us and Pow. I don't know who Pow is. Alright, we're ready. Come and find us. Okay. Mini games. Oh no, you found me! I knew I should have hidden somewhere else. That's right, you should have. Oh shit, this is a secret entrance. Oh, this is the back entrance to here, right? Moonberry one. Ha! I got it. Hey, Lonk! Uh, 
That's right, we have a pretty excellent selection of games coming up. Is she still hiding there? Cause... Alright, so I can't leave the area. That kid's missing a tooth. Alright, so I know where the one kid is. She hides over here. Okay. The ladies of the town often use these boxes to sit uh, and rest on while drawing water from the well. It's sort of the town gossip area. No, I want to talk to this little fucking dog here. How do I interact with the dog? This is our well. It's very valuable to use here on uh, Pirate Isle. Actually, one time when we were still kids, Ica fell inside the well. There. Well, there you are, pal. Next time you should hide in a better place, okay? Pow, pow! Why does it say pow? The dog says pow. Are they hiding inside? Oh, this kid's hiding back here. I can't believe you already found me. I thought I had the perfect hiding place. But if you don't find all of us, we still win. <sighs> Sacra Crystal times three. Golden Sun, that's right. Um, I actually haven't watched the PlayStation Showcase, so no? I was really sick yesterday, guys. Like, I woke up with a migraine, I was throwing up, and that ended about six, but... So it wasn't great. Um, so I missed the PlayStation Showcase. So what all was showcased? Can you guys tell me about it? Where's this last kid hiding? Can they hide indoors? Oh, I did see um, the trailer for God of War though. That was pretty exciting. They announced Spider-Man 2? I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, so where is this kid? Like, the only place I can think he could be is either, like, up that ladder there, or inside one of the houses. There's no real saying that they can't go inside the house, I guess. But yeah, guys, what, what about you? I don't even know what the third kid even looks like, so... I wonder what this handkerchief is for. Oh, I think there's something underneath it. Ah. Oops, the handkerchief was there to cover this hole to, in Aika's room. Ah, yes. We can be a pervert. Good. <gasps> Ah! Who's there? Take that, you creep! Ow, my eye! Vice, what are you doing peeking into my room? You should be ashamed of yourself. I can't believe you'd spot on me like that. Get out of here! But, but, I was just looking under this handkerchief. I didn't know! You probably just put it there to draw people's attention. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, I'm really excited about Thor, right? Oh, there he is. Oh no, you found me. I was sure I'd be safe here. I 
can't believe you found us all. Oh well, I promise this is I'll tell you a little secret. You know the bookshelf in Captain Dine's room? I think there's some sort of secret to it. I was looking for a book in there one day, and when I leaned on the bookshelf, it sort of moved a little funny. Maybe you should check it out. Oh, fuck you, kid. I already knew that. I discovered that on my own. It's a box full of bullets. My grandfather is really the only one that uses a gun around here. I prefer using cutlasses. Speaking of, uh... Lonk, um, have you played Skies of Arcadia? I got a few people in chat who are really excited for this. Whose house is this? Is this my house? No, oh, this is an old lady's house. Hey, I ain't maybe an air pipe, but I would never steal from an old lady's dresser. We're able to live the way we do, thanks to the blessed of moons. The moons provide us with moonstones that keep our ships flying and provide us with fuel for fires to keep ourselves warm. We truly are blessed. Actually, you know, moonstones are just some race up there shedding and getting rid of their waste. The smell. Oh man. This has to be salted fish. I regret even looking in here. Granny used to cook bread in this fireplace for me and Ike all the time when we were kids. She really does make the best bread. But ever since Lindsay, Alan, and Jimmy were born, they get to eat everything that Grandma makes. What's this? Yuck! It's her denture cleaning solution! Why would that be... Why would the solution be yuck? Wouldn't it be more yuck to find her dentures just sitting out? If you can learn your, to use your magic and super moves skillfully, your fights will be a whole lot easier. I can teach you the basics on how to use these if you want. Can you teach me anything about magic? From what I can tell, it's essentially a kind of power drawn directly from different moons, right? I suppose that's the easiest way to put it, but one thing you need to remember is that the true power behind magic is your party's spirit. Spells only take, uh, uh, only take up the one MP every time you cast one. However, each spell takes a different amount of spirit points to cast. So it's safe to assume so, uh, that the more spirit points the spell requires, the more powerful it is. In other words, since you're going to use one MP to cast a spell anyway, you might as well cast a spell that uses the most spirit points. Since your spirit points regenerate a little bit at the beginning of each round, it's more efficient to use as much as you can. Magic is divided into six different types. You can gain experience in a type of magic depending on what color you assign to your weapon. So if you want to learn a specific color of magic, you should change the color of your weapon to that color. Oh, okay, so that's why I, if I made my weapon green, I learned green spells. Can you teach me anything about super moves? What exactly are they? To put it simply, they are special techniques. Some of them are attacks, some are defensive techniques, some can even heal your party. But unlike magic, super moves are unique to each person. Also, they don't use up MP, but instead they use up a lot of spirit points. They are quite powerful, but since they take up a lot of spirit points, you need to learn how to use them as effectively as possible. Oh, one more thing. If you ever come across a fruit called the Moonberry, consider yourself lucky. If you eat a Moonberry, you can learn a new super move. Some techniques require more moonberries than others, so use them wisely. It's okay, I think I know enough to be alright. <laughs> alright then. But just remember, it never hurts to ask a question. If you can't figure something out, just come back here, alright? Hey there, Vice! Would you like to give me a few pointers to give you a few pointers on hand-to-hand -hand combat? Actually, could you teach me about some combat tactics? I think I need a few pointers. Okay, well, the first thing you need to learn is how to effectively use effectively in battle is your potty spit. You can't Think of spirit as your entire party's fighting energy. You use it up whenever you cast spells or use super moves. During a battle, everyone in your group uses the same pool of spirit points. That means you can have someone like, let's say, Ika, for instance, focus and gain spirit points for the rest of the party. And then you, Vice, can use those spirit points to unleash a powerful super move. Just remember, strategy is key here. And another thing, you can use your spirit points all you want. You will regain a little bit at the beginning of battle every round. So go ahead and not use your super moves as often as possible. It will make your battles much easier. Oops. Spit. Could you teach me a few things about weapons? The weapons that we use are made from moonstones, right? That's right. And because of that, assigning different colored moonstones to your weapons will change their properties. A weapon modified by red moonstone has the powers of fire, and a weapon modified with a yellow moonstone has the powers of lightning. 
by knowing your enemy's weaknesses and choosing the color of your weapon wisely, you may be able to do greater damage to your enemies. No, it's alright. I think I know enough to be alright. <laughs> sure. I suppose the best way to learn is to get into a real battle situation. Anyway! Well, I hope you actually know what you're doing. Alright. So we're done learning, I guess. 